Hello everybody and welcome once again to another review of a Greek product from the Greekosophy channel. Now we have a delicious kefalotiri cheese all the way from Crete to review today, uh, which we bought it when we uh, visited Heraklion, uh, our family in Heraklion. Uh, now a little bit of a story behind the producer of this uh, cheese. Uh, the company is called Leondomitos and apparently the family uh, started uh, back in 1980 uh, with a butcher shop because they had a farm uh, and basically in the village of Kursonas in Crete. Now the head of the family, Dimitris or Dimitri uh, Vardalahakis, uh, his uh, nickname initially was Leondari, Leondos, because uh, he was strong as a lion. Lion in Greek is Leondari, so Leondos. And because in Greece, uh, Dimitris uh, can also be called Mitsos, he had the nickname of Leondo Mitsos, uh, and that's how he named the company. And basically, the company started opening uh, a few shops around the area, and now they have quite a few uh, in the Seran area of Heraklion. Uh, and apart from meat, uh, they have also started producing their own cheeses. Uh, so uh, you can find the shops, uh, well, definitely uh, in the city of Heraklion, where we bought the, uh, this cheese from. So this is a kefalotiri made from goat's meat. Um, it doesn't actually say here, but the kefalotiri in Greece is made of goat meats. Kefalotiri is a very, very popular cheese in Greece. Um, it is produced mainly from goats or sheep's milk and it's a sort of um, hard, salty kind of uh, cheese. So let's have a look. As you can see we bought the a very large one, but we will definitely eat it fast. Okay, so immediately now that we've cut it, I can definitely say that you can smell the cheese. You can smell the that nice sort of cheese kefalotiri, sort of strong smell. Uh, not off-putting smell, it's quite a lovely, lovely smell. You can smell the freshness, basically. I am so looking forward to try that because uh, in my trip to Crete, I've brought some a couple of other cheeses from the same company and they were all delicious unfortunately i don't think i've uh, done videos of them which is a pity so there it is uh i, I wish that i could give you <laughs> or send you some way the smell the delicious smell it it sort of invites you to eat it you know, it's 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 like as if you just cut it straight from the from where you keep the the cheese. It's 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 oh, it's beautiful. So hmm. all you need is some fresh crusty bread, nice juicy tomato, and this. Mm, this is delicious. You can eat it on its own. You can grate it over pasta. You can do a little bit of saganaki, you know, dip it in uh, a bit of eggs, flour, and um, dip, uh, fry it because it's hard enough to 
not to melt away. Uh, but this is. It's nice. You no, know, sometimes the Falotiri cheese that comes from Crete has a little bit of grainy texture. But this one here has more of a of a smooth texture. It's not as grainy and it's beautiful. Now, unfortunately, you cannot get this particular. Well, you, you can get the Falotiri cheese in the UK but not from this particular company. You can only get it if you go to Crete. So all the details about the company, I'm gonna put in the description of this video below, as well as the links to their website. But if you are an importer of Greek items in Greece, from Greece, you should definitely bring this cheese to the UK. This is amazing. And obviously it doesn't come only in such a high, big size, but in, smaller sizes as well i think we have mm -hmm. i think we have so in another size like this and also in smaller sizes as well but uh, because with a lot of cheese we bought a lot of it so top mark for this amazing cheese